Hey guys, I wanted to make a video on how to install a rat wall in your pole building. Uh, I couldn't find any videos on YouTube on how to do this properly, so I figured I'd do the research myself and then make a video for anyone uh, trying to do something similar. So the purpose of a rat wall is to keep varmints from tunneling underneath your concrete. So it's not a foundational structure or anything that's going to bear bear a whole lot of weight or anything like that um, in a pole building your foundation is held up by the posts that run all the way down into the ground and then up the seat up to the the rafters but um, the rat wall is strictly for keeping out uh, varmints it doesn't have to be very thick uh, requirement here in michigan is four inches um, you know wide this way if you're looking at that one um, you might find that it's easier just to go eight inches because that's the approximate width of a shovel and it's much easier to dig if you just go the a shovel width rather than having to buy a narrow shovel or anything like that so all mine are eight inches uh, requirement here in Michigan is that they go down 24 inches from the top surface of the concrete so let me show you on a section here that's already done It'd be a little bit easier to visualize You can see on this guy here we got this ledger board on top and the top of that ledger board is where the top of the concrete floor will come to so from that point you need to go down 24 inches so all I did was simply dig out um, 24 inches down from that point and then I used two by sixes to create the form on the inside and on the outside, anywhere I didn't have, um, you know, ground to pour up against to use as my form, I just boxed it in with plywood. And uh, you can actually just leave that plywood in. You know, you can landscape over the top of it and eventually it'll rot away and just leave the exposed concrete behind it. So just got to put it in there once and don't worry about having to strip it later. Um, one other note on the anywhere you have a door in the building. You have to put a proper footing, a structural footing in. And that's not, the purpose of that isn't to bear any weight, but it's to keep the concrete under your door from heaving up. Like if the ground gets below freezing and, you know, there's some moisture in it, moisture expands, it heaves, and then you'll, you'll have a big heave spot underneath your door. And it's not as big of an issue on roll-up doors, but um, I have a man door over there. I'll show you in a second um, if your the concrete under your man door heaves then it'll lock your door into the door frame and you won't be able to get in and uh, that can be very frustrating so um, just take the extra time dig a proper footing in Michigan it's 44 inches is the requirement um, I went 46 inches just to be safe um, in case I have any high spots or something I just wanted to make sure everything was at least 44 inches so that's another note, and I'm going to frame that out the same way. Plywood on the outside, two guys on the inside, and then I'll bring the uh, the backfill up to the plywood for support. Let me just show you that man door real quick. So you can see the hole under the man door is significantly deeper. Um, it's kind of a wedge shape because the, uh, the posts are sunk in pea gravel. There's pea gravel all around them. So I didn't want to dig all the way over to the post and uh, excavate all that pea gravel because it's in there, uh, well, it's in there for a reason and I didn't want to excavate it all out. So it's just kind of a wedge shape that should still provide plenty of, of weight and structure to keep that from heaving. So then you can see the same thing under the, the big door here. Another uh, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, pop in a comment and I will do my best to answer it. But uh, it's pretty straightforward and just take your time and measure all your holes. Oh, one other quick note on the rat wall. If uh, your requirement in your locality is the same 24 inches, these small levels are 24 inches long. So I was using this as my depth gauge. Um, just take it put it in the hole, look at it in relation to the top of my board, 
and you can tell real quick whether you have 24 inches so you don't have to you know carry your tape measure around with you all the time or you could cut a two by four to 24 inches same principle so that's it good luck with your project